Hi, it's Pastor Paul L. Anderson here at the Fountain of Raleigh Fellowship, where we believe God's blessings never stop flowing. It is Worshipful Wednesday. It is that day right near the middle of the week that we thank God for the wonderful ways in which he has blessed us and kept us all week long thus far. We thank him for this past weekend as he's propelling us into this ensuing weekend. I want to remind you, uh, this coming Sunday is Mother's Day. If you haven't done your shopping, gotten your cards, uh, tell those women in your life, thank you, mom. Thank you to your sister. Sisters, thank you to your spouses and those of us who have mothers that are now gone on to be with the Lord. What a precious day of remembrance on this worshipful Wednesday. Let's get ready for the weekend and let's get ready for the call. Today, I want to ask that you would look with me into the gospel according to St. Luke, the fifth chapter, verses one through 11. A very powerful text. This is the text in which we begin to see that Jesus is now on the shores of Galilee. Uh, he's doing what he's always done. He's going around teaching and preaching the gospel and he's sharing the good news. Uh, so those that are poor, those that are blind, those that are lame, whatever the situation is, that they can hear a message of hope. The text lets us see and it helps us to understand that wherever Jesus was, crowds seemed to follow him. A great crowd had pressed upon him and they wanted to listen to him as he shared the word of God. And as Jesus see the crowds ensuing, he looks and he sees that there are two empty boats at the water's edge. He walks over to them and the fishermen uh, have left them and they were washing their nets. He steps into the boats and then Jesus asked Simon, its owner, to push out into the water. So he pushes the boat out into the water. It is from there that Jesus begins to teach the crowds. And when he had finished speaking, Simon said, Lord, now go out where the Lord tells him, uh, go out where it's deeper and let down your nets and catch some fish. See, Simon Peter was was going like, wait a minute. I was already washing my nets. I had already called it finished. And now you want me to take my nets and to drop them in the water, go a little bit deeper. Well, see, the situation that Simon Peter had was that he was a skilled fisherman. And he is seeing Jesus and he's going like, uh, I haven't seen you around these parts. Uh, you're not a fisherman. What do you know about fish? But he didn't know to whom he was speaking. My brothers and sisters, all of us, we need to be careful when we think that we know more than Jesus does. Jesus gets into his boat. That's a great lesson. That's a great analogy for all of us. Wouldn't it be great if Jesus would step into our boat? Well, the text lets us see that Jesus steps into his boat because Simon's boat was available. It was right at the water's edge. Anytime we say, Jesus, we want you to step in our boat. The first thing we have to ask ourselves is, is our boat available for Jesus to get in? See, these guys were fishermen. They had fished all night long and they hadn't caught a thing. And so uh, he couldn't help but say, sure, I'll, I'll be happy to let you use my boat, Jesus. Jesus begins to teach everyone. And as he's teaching, he tells him, go out just a little bit deeper. And as they go a little bit deeper, I think that that's a call that God has for all of us. He calls us all to go a little deeper. You know, God calls all of us to, st to stop staying by the shore, stop staying where it's safe, but to go out, to launch out in faith. He says, go a little bit deeper and let down your nets and catch some fish. S Simon says, Master, I, we have worked hard all night long and we haven't caught a thing. But now you're telling me to go out and let my nets down. OK, simply because you asked me to do it, I'm going to do it. And after he does it, the text lets us see that their nets were full of fish, so heavy it began to tear. So they called to their partners and said, hey, come help me. This is more than I could take on myself. In so much so that the, 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 the fish was so heavy that the ship, the boat started sinking. So when, time, when Simon realized what has happened, he falls to his knees and he says, oh Lord, please leave me because I'm a sinful man. It lets us all see that when God calls us to get out of our quote unquote safety zone, to get out a little bit deeper, to let our nets down, then we'll find out life is probably more than we can bear by ourselves. We need some help. We need Jesus in our boat. Not only do we need Jesus in our boat, but we need somebody else to help us in this life. This becomes a very timeless message for all of us. It lets all of us know that we cannot do this by ourselves. 
We need the help of our friends. We need the help of co-laborers in Christ. And so we find out that his partners, James and John, the sons of Zebedee, they were amazed when Simon had replied. And, and Jesus tells them all, don't be afraid. From now on, you're not just going to fish for fish, but you're going to fish for people. You know, God calls all of us to do a job. And then after we do that job so well, he lets us see just by listening to me, not only will you do that job well, but you'll do the next one as well. My brothers and sisters, Jesus is calling all of us. He's calling us to leave the shore, to get out into the deep, to trust him, to go based upon what he has said. And then you'll find out a change will take place in our lives. Then you and I can say, like we see in the text, that we are exceedingly and abundantly blessed. And in this year of 2022, God has a blessing in store for you. And I'll look forward to seeing you on tomorrow. To sow a seed to the Fountain of Raleigh Fellowship, visit our newly redesigned website, thefountainofraleigh.org, and select Sow a Seed from the homepage. Also, giving has been made easier with the new Fountain of Raleigh app, available now in the Apple App Store and Google Play Store. Download today, select giving from the main menu, and then follow the directions to complete your giving through Subsplash. Thank you so very much for all of your gifts and donations that you've given to the Fountain of Raleigh Fellowship. We thank you for what you've done in the past, what you're currently doing, and what you will do in the future. Your gifts and donations helps us to spread the gospel of Jesus Christ, not only locally, but throughout the world. Thank you again for your gifts, and may God continue to richly bless you. It is here at the Fountain that we believe that we are exceedingly and abundantly blessed, and may you receive those blessings that God has in store for you. Okay.